reforms not only our economy, but our financial system and our democracy. And it's not just an academic idea. It's based on a program that actually worked. The New Deal that got us out of the Great Depression of the 1930s. It's time to bring it back and put it to work. These reforms create living wage, community-based jobs. And communities decide what kind of jobs they need to be sustainable, not just ecologically, but economically and socially. So that means, for starters, jobs in the green area of the economy, clean manufacturing, local organic agriculture, public transportation, and clean renewable energy. about a young man whose life was transformed by this kind of job. His name is Ricardo, and I met him in Holyoke, Massachusetts, touring some of the green small businesses that are thriving there. Ricardo had dropped out of school after being held back three times in the ninth grade. Like most kids in poverty, his classes were too big, too underfunded, and two dominated by less than inspiring test prep. But he found a training program in an efficiency and solar hot water installation program offered by a remarkable green energy cooperative called Co-op Power. <laughs> Ricardo was then hired by a small green energy business, Energia, where he became a crew leader within one year. And while doing all that, this high school dropout, held back three times in ninth grade, entered a GED program and graduated even before his own high school class received their diploma. three years, supporting his family and his young child. This is a triple win. Ricardo pulls his life together, the community gets lower energy costs and cleaner air, and the climate gets a little more stable for us all. Mm. Under the Green New Deal, these win-win jobs will be the rule and not the exception, and they're coming to your community. not only creates jobs like Ricardo's that make us ecologically sustainable, it also creates jobs that meet our social needs. Let's hire back those 300,000 teachers who lost their jobs in this great recession. And let's hire, let's hire on the nurses we need, and the child care, and the after school, and the home care, and senior care, and violence and drug abuse prevention and rehabilitation and affordable housing construction. These jobs, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> these, jobs, these jobs will be nationally funded and locally and democratically controlled. They are community-based small businesses, not big multinational corporations. They are worker-owned cooperatives and public works and public services. So instead of going down to the unemployment office, you can just go down to the employment office and get the job. So to be clear, the Green New Deal ends unemployment in America. This would never occur to Washington politicians. <laughs> and you can imagine why. Their corporate backers depend on the threat of unemployment to hold wages down and their profits up. Right. But ending unemployment 
unemployment and more is front and center for Americans who need jobs, so it's front and center on the green agenda. Yeah. As Greens, we are committed not only to jobs, but also to improving social conditions for everyone in America. That's why the Green New Deal will create an immediate moratorium on foreclosures and evictions. We cannot afford to have even one more Rhonda thrown out of her home. We're going to put an end to that. And that's why the Green New Deal also guarantees health care for everyone as a human right through Medicare for All. This not only provides quality, comprehensive care for everyone. It will restore your choice of provider and put you back in control of your own health care decisions instead of having them made for you by a profiteering insurance company CEO. And it will save trillions. It doesn't cost us trillions. It saves us trillions over the next decade by streamlining the massive, wasteful health insurance bureaucracy and putting an end to runaway medical inflation. Yeah. As part of the Green New Deal, we will forgive the crushing student debt burden. an entire generation of young people who have been turned into indentured servants. Yeah. And we will provide tuition-free public education from pre-kindergarten through college. Oh, yeah. This is an investment in our future, and it pays off enormously. We know that from the GI Bill after World War II that provided $7 in increased economic benefits for every dollar that we, the taxpayers, invested. Mm.